So yeah, this morning I thought to myself, let's watch some YouTube shorts. And I thought to myself, why not watch it with you? So let's just watch some uh, YouTube shorts and let's get right at it. We have here another Mike Tyson guy who got punched in the face. Nice. Yeah. Not necessarily the story that I tell in my in my videos, like, oh, the modern man does this, and mm, mm, yeah. the caveman. Yeah, that, that, that's the caveman right there. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty sad, man, but I think that that the, 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 the only thing that they really need to, like, be better is Jesus Christ, you know? I think that exactly in those situations, exactly in those kinds of situations where you're sad and where you're lonely, exactly then that's what you need to turn back to Christ and that's where you, like, yeah, exactly. Yes, just stay some, some degenerate, man. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. The ending was cute. The, the ending was very cool. Shut the fuck up. No. Man, listen, so most QBs that I met uh, when I play football, right? I play football, I play defensive line, I play edge rusher. And most QBs that I know are complete pussies. Like, I'm sorry, but they always say like, ooh, ooh, do you line me? They're like, oh, I, I could run into someone too. Yeah, then, then just do it, please, please. The fuck? What the fuck? Hold up. It's basically an eight hour arm day. Man, Rich Piana is one of those guys who literally made me scared of going to the gym. Like I, I wouldn't want to go into the same gym as him. And you could say, yeah, you should run with someone who's faster than you, but like, <laughs> like when you, when you say that about a guy like Rich Piana, um, I just think that's, um, yeah, look at that. That's what I deadlift. Like a little less, but you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that girl, that girl. You know, I like that girl. I really like her. Yeah. I think that this woman is probably one of the best, like, feminine leaders we have in modern society. And I think that um, she's the only feminine or, or female kept creator you should watch because other ones are either way too esoteric or you would never follow their advice because they're damn ugly. Like, like it's just with men and I don't know why this is, but we are more tempted, more likely to follow the advice of a pretty girl, um, which I think she is, in my opinion than we are of like an ugly woman. And I'm not saying this to be sexist or something or to be down talking about some woman who's not looking perfect, but I think that men in the modern age are a thousand times more likely to uh, follow the advice of a pretty woman. And therefore I think this girl is doing a very good job. I think she is uh, helping men very much to actually see that there are women that are worth dating and she's giving people like my past self like my autistic self-improvement kind of monk mode self a reality check
Tall Roller Green. Robert Green is, I think, a very smart guy. And if you read, if you didn't read any of his books, I recommend you do that right now, like right the fuck now. Uh, maybe I've put a link to that in the description, probably not, but you'll just need to go and find it yourself. Robert Green, 48 Laws of Power. Um, one of the best self-improvement books ever. I genuinely would recommend the Bible more, but, um, I think that 48 Laws of Power can teach you much about dating and more about like real life dynamics. Um, yeah, just read that book. You can also read the book um, Daily Laws, which is in my opinion, the like the best deal in self-improvement book history because you just get five books in one book and you can just read it every single day. It's perfect to develop a reading habit to read every single day and to do actionable steps that will actually put you forward. So Daily Laws by Robert Greene, one of the best self-improvement books ever because it summarizes five books of one of the best authors that has ever lived or not ever lived. Of course, the people who read the Gospels, you know, you know the deal. I'm Christian. I think the Bible is the best book ever. I think the Bible is the true um, truth essentially, but of people in the self-improvement space, Robert Greene is one of the best authors, if not the best author. Yeah, that's just Nuketown on Airsoft. Um, yeah, I think that, that Airsoft is pretty stupid because why would you play war? I think war is something horrible. And I think that war is okay if it's necessary, but I don't think you should play war, let alone play it in real life. Like if you're if you're playing a video game to calm to calm down yourself a little bit, then okay, fine. But I don't think you should. Um, I don't think you should really go out and say, "Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm playing war today, mom." Like you're just a three year old boy who's never been raised properly, and therefore you play fucking airsoft or something. I think that airsoft is very stupid and also, you know, kind of shit to play like. You're in some fucking, in some brick house or something and you're shooting plastic BBs at, at, at someone else. Oh, this guy, this guy is cool. Adonis Bjornsson, one of the best uh, manifestation YouTubers, I think. His videos are good. He's sometimes a little bit um, above the edge of what I call, um, you know, sane. <laughs> but he's very rich and... I think he makes very good videos. He makes just like videos like this. Um, it's like this freestyle YouTuber thing. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> the thing he did with his head, it's just every football player always. That is very cool. Like, you know, doing this is one of my dreams. Like at some at some point on this YouTube channel, I will absolutely build a house in the forest, just buy a little bit of land and then just film there, build a house. Not, not maybe not just like this, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not that good at, wood, at woodwork, but I think I will at some point build like a little bit of shelter or something and do like a survival thing because look at this channel, man. It's called the caveman. I literally have to legally do this. <laughs> That's me. That's me right there, <laughs> but with better form, you know? I, I, I think I have good form, science-based lifters. They're, they're just stupid and gay, I think. Like science-based lifters, if you're like there with, with your little journal, I think um, 
that's me. That, that's me right there. If you if you ever watched the one on one training program day or the how to train like a Spartan um, um, training thing, then you will see that I do high high volume. I'm talking like ten sets of leg extensions or something, and some of them are, are super sets, some of them are drop sets, and. I think supersets and drop sets are very effective and I've seen on Instagram one day like something with drop set pins right where they automatically like drop out of the rack. And yeah, I, I like supersets very much, particularly uh, like on back day, um, where like if you start to think like, I, I, I don't like to train my back. Um, I like to train legs more than my back. I like to train arms more than my back. I literally would like, I, I literally like running, like running more than I like to like, fucking train my back. Like you just grab something and pull it. <laughs> Whereas on other days you do something actually exciting. Therefore I do like many, many uh, supersets and drop sets. I think that pull-ups and, um, and and rowings is very is a very fun combo to do. Particularly if you're training on rings, which is a super dope thing to do. No, you can't work in. Of course not. I yeah, just leave the gym. Fucking Jeffrey Waterman, NPC man. Don't date independent women. That's a very good advice. Yeah. Like, I don't get it. Why would you date someone who is fine without you? <laughs> She's gonna get without you as soon as you annoying one time, right? Date a woman who's dependent on you. Date a woman who actually wants you and kind of needs you. She shouldn't like need, 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 need you. Um, because then she's just gonna fucking um, rip your hair off. But you should to some degree be a little bit dependent on you. I just think that's how the world works and that's how we should um, be with women. We as men shouldn't need the woman, we should want her. The woman should need the man and want him. And he made men and women in his image and likeness. And he put them together to make their work easier. That's how that's that's how the, the first or the second chapter in Genesis says. And it doesn't go exactly word for word like this. I haven't like learned it every single day, but this is how it says he made men and women to help each other, right? He made the man first. And then he made the woman to help him with his work. And this is how the dynamic should be. The woman should help the man with something, with his emotionality or something. And she should cover some work. Of course, the household or something, the work that the man doesn't have time for should be done by the woman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, don't be the kind of guy who is just like ego lifting for women. Who's just like, oh, I feel depressed. Let's get fucked by some by some random dude, and then that random dude is you, um, who goes partying once a fucking year. Um, which is one of the reasons you should never ever hook up. Like I have a, I have a strict no hookups. Um, let's say, let's call it a policy. I don't sleep with women who are random anymore because I did that once and it just felt horrible. I just felt dirty afterwards. Like not, not like hygienically dirty, but like my soul was kind of dirty and I needed to go to church so quickly. I just remember walking out of the house of her and just thinking to myself, why the fuck did I do that? Made no sense. And I wouldn't want to do it again. Because you either become her ego lifting thing, 
or you ruin her for the future and some high value man um, was just stolen from her by her insecurity. So if you find a woman who tells you, hey, let's fuck and you don't know her, you do, you aren't like in a relationship with her, which is for me a minimum requirement um, to have sex with a woman. Um, then just tell her, hey, you're worth more than this because she is. She certainly is. All women are worth more than some hookup guy and some guy who's just there to fuck them. Like you shouldn't be the guy who only has one purpose and that is to fuck her. Let's watch like three more or something because my brain is rotting right now. Okay, we don't watch that. That doesn't count. I played Rainbow Six once or twice and it was just annoying as fuck because sweaty kids in their mom's basement were like that, exactly like that fucking with Sigma male music in the background. And I'm just thinking to myself, like video games are a substitute for real life. Like if you, if you're such a bitch in real life that you need to like define how big your dick is, by that, like, I want a 1v5. <laughs> like wall shooting people and everything. I just think that how it would be so annoying for me to like play against someone like that, that I wouldn't want to be him. Like video games are a thing that if I, if I, wanted to be good at it i probably would be good at it i i was a huge video gamer back then but i never found why it was so fucking cool for people to be like oh i'm so good at video games i'm, I'm, I'm like the best in, in rainbow six siege i sweat every single fucking game Ugh. <laughs> Man, Michael Hearn just has become such a big meme. <laughs> He's just giga chat, man. I should include him by the start of the videos, like, like the caveman, and then there's Michael Hearn or something with that, with that fucking background music. And I need a shirt like that. I need like, baby, don't hurt me, as a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just get punched in the face, man. Like, yeah, one more. One. Oh, that's just an ad. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Is that his daughter? Or whatever, like, or the 241. Look, I think, I think with gingers it goes two ways. I think she's either mad ugly or beautiful <laughs> and um yeah i think i think with every other woman it goes like on a spectrum but with gingers it's like either or <clears throat> and let's just leave it like that because either uh, warzone is so stupid like i i hated that game when i when I, when I used to play it, because there were kids like this who would just climb up on everything and just like uh, hip fire you and stuff. Okay. 
Just just what I said, like airsoft, or is that a real one? Oh no, it's, no that's, that's a real one. I think shooting is cool. I never shot a real gun ever. Um, but I think it's it's cool. It's funny, you know. It certainly sounds cool and. What the fuck? What? Man, Kung Fu Panda was, was one of those movies that really got the ball rolling on, on my self-improvement. Because as a kid, I watched that and I thought of myself when I started self-improvement. The first day I thought like, let's be like the dragon warrior. <laughs> I literally thought that to myself. I thought like, let's start this. And at some point I'm gonna be so masculine that I'm gonna be chosen as the dragon warrior and something like as the best person in, in, like, a, in like a sport. <laughs> I I think to myself, if this actually happened, like if you actually without a camera or without scripting it, walked up to your girl and asked her, hey, would a thousand dollars help you? And she's like, yeah. And you, and you just give her a pan or, or something to cook. <laughs> I wonder what would happen, like what would happen in real life? Would she just break up with you? Would she, would she say, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> it certainly would be a fun video. Should I get a girlfriend just to film a video like that? No, 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 no. <laughs> but it would certainly be fun to try. And if you've ever tried that, um, you can you can write your experiences in the comments, please. I'm really, I'm, I'm really like, I, I'm really excited to know what the fuck happened after that. Yeah, for boxing. Yeah, I just said it for boxing, of course. Like for what else? It's a safety thing. <laughs> Probably the most exciting experience in, in our life. And he's just like, they're like, yeah, I'm bored, I'm bored. <laughs> I think she's gonna quit her job after this. Probably. <laughs> I know I said like like one more like fifteen uh, things ago. Oh, I seen that on on some guy's channel. But I think it's just gonna punch him in the face. Just gonna fly out of his hand. And I think you also shouldn't shoot that like near to people because of the muzzle flash. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Man, Halo. I hoped that some Halo thing would come up. Because Halo was the first video game I ever played. And it was also like the best one. I think Halo 1 is one of those games that you kind of, what the fuck? That you kind of never really, <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? 
that you just kind of never forget and that you just always um, kind of have in the back of your head. I, when I used to listen to music in the gym, which I've stopped now, I used to just go on the bench, put like 100 kilos on and put the Halo main theme on there. And it would be so cool to like lift heavy and I'm, and I'm the master chief or something, right? Very cool. Very cool experience. Airsoft, yeah. Nice. Super gay. Super duper gay. Look, if this is what I mean, this is what the fuck I mean. Like, how the f can you be so stupid? You just... All bully one guy. Nice. Context player was dumping children, bullying people on the field, also dumped first. I remember in this video. And then just everyone was just full auto-ing him. Well, that's what you deserve. <laughs> okay. I training for gamers. I'm not a gamer, thank you. No, we were not watching Christianity edits. I'm sorry, but I think... shooting nerf darts at something like how stupid is you're wasting food <laughs> and what I what I'm thinking about um, when I see things like this, I'm thinking about I should never date a woman who like has a bunch of like big male idols because like unless I'm I'm one of them, of course. But I think that if a woman is like this and goes to concerts all the time, she probably has fantasized sometimes in her life that dude banging her because girls are just like that they just think like oh what if i show speed bangs me and one of the most downgrading things about a woman is if she slept with someone who you don't like like if if it's someone who you respect fine okay nice i wouldn't but if it's someone who i don't respect in that way if it's someone who i think is is not good for her. If it's someone I think I don't, I wouldn't like myself. I wouldn't be a friend of him. Like I sure speed, I don't like that guy. I think he just makes clickbait stuff. And I saw him one time running a 40 yard dash in four point something seconds. So he's pretty fast. So speed is a good name for him. But I think that the lesson of this video is just um, don't date women who have a bunch of famous male idols because if if like this if if this was your future girlfriend and she just and and, and I show speed just ask her like can I get your number and she's like oh actually oh I'm so honored that you give me that that I can give you my number just quick lesson from this video don't date girls who all the time say oh I I I, I was at this guy's concert because look at this guy Look at this guy right here. He's he wanted the number of this girl or this girl, and they both idolize this man. 
he's going to go home with lower testosterone because another man just took his wife, essentially. That's how primal shit works, right? This is just the primal way of explaining stuff. Look, and, and even this guy is so fucking weak that he's like, <gasps> he, just, he just took my girl away. <laughs> he's, it, look, it's either his sister or his girlfriend or both. <laughs> or she's um, or she's a girl he wanted to be his girlfriend and he went to some concert or on some fucking street or, some, or on a date, right? And he just took his girl away and he's like, hey, look at this. No. Just no. I'm your biggest fan. Shut the fuck up, please. Why do I get so many things about Airsoft? I I watched Airsoft like Maybe when I was 10 or 11, I watched airsoft, ma like POV airsoft matches with people falling off of roofs or something. Like snipers 50,000 meters away. Yeah. I hate back training. Arm training is just the coolest thing. Legs is cool too. Shut up. Legs is cooler than back. Mr. Beast. Oh. That's a bad block. But I block all the time like that. In, in football, you're supposed to block like this. So if the guy tries to juke you, like if he tries to jump to the sides, you're not like through him. But what I, what I always do, I always try and like run people over because I'm just messed up in the head or something. <laughs> Man, when I'm playing football, I'm not as nice as I'm usually am on my YouTube videos, right? I, I should block like this and I know it, but I either block like this just with one hand or I block like this. So I just am holding all the time or I'm ramming my shoulder or my head into someone and trying to fucking shoot him 50,000 meters away. And it, and it doesn't work often, but if it works, it's so fun. <laughs> you just lay on the floor like... <laughs> it sounds like, like I'm a psychopath now, but you know, you should block correctly if you mentally can. And if you're not like, like uh, that guy here, you know, POV football, like watching POV football, um, kind of always gives me an edge in football because I'm thinking to myself like, well, if I had a camera on my head, I can't go head to head and then I have to play like actual good technique and not just like, Whoosh! like I usually play, I, I have like a super good helmet. I have like a Vice SO2, I want to show it to you. Got this helmet maybe a year ago or something and just <laughs> look at the way this thing looks, man. The, the 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 decon the, the the icon here is completely messed up right cracked here my my chin strap is also broken so it keeps sliding around look at this i hope you can see it <laughs> it just scratches everywhere man every fucking there but of ice is so too right the the benefit on this helmet is it is it kind of like bulges on the outside and you don't really feel it when you hit someone with it and like you can hit yourself on the head with it. You can run into people with your head first and you just don't feel it, right? You, I used to get headaches after every single game. Before I got this helmet, I had a shot vengeance F something. Um, and I always had headaches after a game and with this one, it's just gone. I'm, I make better videos because I'm not like messed up in the head and because I'm not as much of a psychopath as I was back then. I was, I was training tackling on like a, on like a sandbag, which is a pretty stupid idea because you're supposed to hit with this right here. You're supposed to hit like this. And if you hit like this without a pad on, you're just going to break your shoulder. And therefore I just tackle like this. And this is the way I tackle today because I got like a thousand reps 
on a sandbag. Um, like every time in the gym between sets, hit the sandbag, boom, then get back to the set and then do that like 50,000 times a day. So pretty stupid, um, actually, yeah. Oh, shut up. Calisthenics is crazy. I always wanted to get into calisthenics. And I think that calisthenics people are the strongest people on earth. So I think that strength shouldn't only be related to how much weight you can bench. Because if you can just eat your way to a good bench... But this thing, you have to train perfect. And I love to train calisthenics. I love to train with rings. Um, I'm not good at it, but I love to do it. And I just think that I, like, I have more respect for this guy, for like a good calisthenics guy, than for a man who just does fucking um, 500 kilo deadlifts or something. Of course, both things are remarkable, but I think that strength, um, could always be strength in relationship to your body weight. Um, and a guy who can't do a fucking pull up, um, I think is not that strong. I heard it, man. Ammo is, ammo is stupid expensive. But why do I get so much war stuff on here? Jeff Napod, annoying. Annoying. Is this guy sponsored by OnlyFans? Two hundred and forty eight pounds. What is this? Is this some BJJ stuff or karate? He's sponsored by OnlyFans though. Look at this, right there, OnlyFans. Brian Johnson has gotten me into a huge rut. Like Brian Johnson has gotten me into this autistic self-improvement thing where you're eating chocolate or something and people pretend that chocolate is healthy. And just as a spoiler, chocolate isn't fucking healthy. Um, cacao is healthy, but chocolate isn't healthy. You can't eat cacao by itself. You can just buy a whole cacao bean and just eat that. You don't need to eat chocolate because you fucking cope or something. Let's say what he says here. In close contact with others. Okay. I don't think he's giving her, his partner, his very best. Because I think that um, all that therapy and stuff doesn't get your dick hard again. <laughs> and I don't know how old he is. He's something like 50 or 60 years old. And I think it's a pretty esoteric guy. And I wouldn't want to be him. Let's just say it like that. Listen, humans have been doing this shit that he's explaining right here for hundreds of thousands of years. Humans have been sleeping for thousands of years. Cavemen didn't brush their teeth. I brush my teeth. Let's just say it like that. Right? I brush my teeth with toothbrush tablets. But I don't believe that you should optimize every single aspect of your life. Because if you do that, if you strive to be optimal... At some point, you're going to be good, but not optimal. And the guy who is okay is going to outrun you because he actually has a life outside of self-improvement, which I think is very important. Um, that you should just be clear that self-improvement isn't habits. Self-improvement is life. That's the message I preach on this channel. If, if you've been watching this far, you probably like me and you should subscribe to my channel. blueprint okay man now we're done i think we've watched enough 
brain dead content. I think you've had your enjoyment time for today. I think we should all get back to work now. And um, yeah, let's just say it like that. Some shorts are good, some are helpful, some remind you, but I think the best uh, shorts aren't a thing that teach you something. They are something that remind you of something and sometimes we need to be reminded more than we need to be taught so before you watch your next 50 minute uh, self-improvement video before you go and watch some some long ass video you should rather uh get onto youtube shorts and watch a 30 second reminder that you need to get back to jesus now have a nice day master your mind and stay focused <laughs>